Good morning, world. We are making a nice little oat milk latte to start off the day. Woo! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a pack with me video for my upcoming trip to Miami. I'm going to Miami tomorrow just for the weekend, a really quick trip. And I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I am, you know, packing for this trip. Uh, I love pack with me as they kind of get me motivated to like get my life together. And it's kind of going to be like a get my life together vlog just in general. I have to like clean out my fridge and like, you know, clean my apartment and stuff because I want to come back to a nice cozy home. And then I come back here for two weeks and then I go away for Thanksgiving. So it's going to be a crazy little bit here. I want to thank Rent the Runway for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have been keeping up, you know Rent the Runway has been seriously like a very integral part of my wardrobe as of late in all my vlogs and stuff. So I got some really fun stuff from them to bring to Miami, which I think is going to be great. I'll show you guys that in a little bit, but I just have my milk frothing. I just was like stepping around. My floor feels like really sticky, so I kind of want to swiffer it up. And then I have to shower. I'll drink my latte and we'll get it going. I kind of had a later start today. It's 8.45, but I was laying in bed for a while. Like, should I get up? Should I not? I'm glad I'm up. And uh, yeah, I need to make a list too of like everything I have to do today. I love, I've been really visual with my list making recently and it's been really helpful with like productivity and stuff. Shout out to Mariah. She made these for us the other day when we podcasted together and it just tasted so good. So I'm really excited about it. So I just put a shot of espresso in there for my Nespresso machine. This is a cup from uh, LaCroix. <laughs> and then I'm pouring in the oat milk. I love that froth. Ooh, baby. It looks yummy. I made the mistake of getting the low fat kind so it doesn't froth as well, but it tastes really good. Oh, it's so yummy. Highly recommend. And if you have a Nespresso, you can make it at home for so cheap. All right, I'm sitting here mid putting on stuff. Um, I showed this in my favorites video recently, but I've just been so obsessed. I feel like it's really Knock on wood healed my skin. This is literally the only product I use you guys I literally wash my face at night. I take off my makeup I don't use any toners anything harsh on my skin and I literally just use this one singular product It's the summer Friday's jet lag mask. I'll have a link below. It's so good and Another thing, so recently I've been having this problem where my under eye was really red and irritated, but it was only in one of my eyes. So I was like, this is weird because it's not, it can't be a reaction to my eye cream or whatever because it would be like on both my eyes or whatever, but it was just one eye was really red and dry for like the past two weeks and I was like, what the heck, how do I get rid of this? And I tried putting just like my normal moisturizers and stuff on it. I tried icing it, I tried putting heat compresses on it like nothing was healing it and then I was like okay maybe I'll just let it be let it be nothing happened one of you guys commented and recommended me to buy this this is the Aveeno eczema therapy which is weird because I didn't think it was eczema I thought it was just dry skin but one of you guys was like I had a similar thing and this cleared it up and it really is working I've only been using it for like a day and a half now but that's what I've been doing and it's on this eye and it's really not bad anymore so that's really sick I'm trying to decide if I'm putting on makeup or not for the daytime. I don't have anything until the evening when I am going to an event with Stella. Gretchen's going to go with me. Maybe some other people, but I know Gretchen for sure. Um, in Seaport, which will be really fun. I'm going to pop over there, try their new beer. Beer girl, who is this? Um, which is exciting. But yeah, I'm trying to decide if I should put on makeup during the day or not. I think I'm just going to let my skin breathe because I'm going to be putting on a full face of makeup later today, even though now you guys have to see me throughout the day packing and stuff with no makeup on, which I apologize for. I have a few, like my skin overall, oh my God, I am so happy with the state of it. If you saw it months ago, slash literally even go watch, I did a get ready with me a few weeks ago or I guess it was like a month ago now, but my skin was trash, like really, really, really bad. And I think it's literally just cutting back, doing more simple makeup products. Like that's the only thing I've changed. Slash, I guess eating a little bit better, but I'm still drinking. <laughs> um, right now I'm just using, I have a prescription acne treatment. I don't have much of it left. Um, this is from the last time I went to the dermatologist. I'm supposed to go to the dermatologist here actually on Wednesday when I get back from my trip. 
So hopefully that all goes to plan. I actually have to call them and confirm that because I have to see like, do I have to send insurance information? I don't know. I'm full. I've always been like an adult in terms of like setting up my doctor's appointments and stuff. But now that I'm in like a totally new city, um, it's not like I'm going to like the same doctors that like my parents go to. So I'm like, I have to set it all up. Does this make sense? You guys are probably done with that too. Adulting baby. All of that is done now. Oh, I want to show you guys what I got in my Rent the Runway this month. Um, and just start off with a haul of that because I'm going to bring all four of those pieces with me to Miami. I've actually been getting a fair amount of questions about Rent the Runway since posting about it and stuff. Even people in my personal life are like, wait, is it really worth it? And I... <sighs> I cannot stress this enough. I'm like definitely gonna continue doing it after I'm done working with them. Um, but I wanna thank them once again for partnering up with me on this video. You guys have seen this stuff on my Instagram, vlogs, etc. So basically rent the runway, you get new styles but you have no commitments because you can rent four or more styles at a time and swap them anytime. So you can literally wear a new outfit every day, which is perfect if you guys are like me and you hate repeating things. Like I like having like my staples, you know, maybe a good jacket or something like that, but then you could switch it up and like rent some fun new pieces from them. It's Perfect if you're like me, gal on the go, and always looking for new stuff. It's literally 600 designers at your fingertips. So let's see what designers I got today. Um, I love it because it's just quality stuff. You know what I mean? Like I know that I'm getting like actually good stuff. So this is a huge reason why I love Rent the Runway because I didn't really have, like it's a transition period. So I didn't really have much like summer clothing just like ready to go, but I was able to rent it for Miami. So excited you guys. Look how cute this is. So this is, these are four pieces that I'm definitely packing. Um, I love this dress. I'm definitely gonna have to wear a sticky bra with it, um, but it is super cute. This is from the brand Luana. And uh, I love on the website too, it gives you like sizing recommendations and stuff because it builds to your profile and you like update it as you go. So if I'm like, oh, you know, that piece was big on me or whatever, then, you know, it kind of like learns your sizing basically. This is also another really cute piece. I love this. It's definitely cropped, but I thought with like a, I have those, you know, maxi skirts and stuff already in my, not maxi skirts, like mini skirts, sorry, <laughs> in my closet already. This is from the brand. Oh, and by the way, everything comes um, dry cleaned and ready to go. That was another question I got a lot. So basically you don't have to clean it. Like you send back your clothes dirty, they clean it before it comes to the next person. So everything arrives in beautiful condition. I have yet to have anything not arrive in like pristine, pristine, like just cleaned condition. So this is from, what does that even say? ALC? I don't know. I also love it because I get to try new brands too. And then I'll be like, wait, I love the way, you know, these tops fit me or these jeans fit me, stuff like that. Um, so this is just like a cute little white tie up guy. Love that. These are two like fun little pieces that I could wear to like dinner or something. And then underneath, this is how it all comes packed by the way. Just like nicely wrapped up and protected. I love this dress. So cute for clubbing, baby. <laughs> Definitely stepping out in Miami. And I love it because it's black, but it's like the sequins make it more like fun for a club vibe right now. And I like the loose fit. Hopefully it fits. Um, but I went by like my recommended size chart. Wait, you guys, this is literally brand new. This happens sometimes. Um, if you're the first person to rent it, it's obviously a brand new item. So this is from the brand Haney. Really excited about this one. And I, I believe that this was like a really expensive dress as it was. So <laughs> I'm pretty pumped about it. And then finally back here, I got a pair of jeans and these are actually brand new too. This is so crazy. They still have the tag on them. These are from A Goldie. I think that's how you pronounce it. Sorry about the construction. I'm really excited about these. These are just regular, I believe. Yeah, they look like just like a nice like light wash jean that kind of like crops. I've been really into trying different jeans because I'm still trying to figure out like what really works for me. I don't really have like a jean favorite currently. These look really cool. And I figure like these with like just a casual top or something for like running around during the day or stepping out at night maybe with that white top if it's not too cropped. So yeah, that's basically why I love Rent the Runway because I get to try a bunch of different stuff. I get to really shop for occasion by occasion stuff. It's gonna be great for me for the holidays because you know, I feel like you're always dressing up and like wearing different dresses. So yeah, these are the pieces that I got. I'm definitely gonna be packing them. And the cool thing about Run the Runway is too, you could add more pieces on too if four isn't enough for you, but I like doing four and then I can, you know, add on stuff that I already have in my wardrobe. That's what I really like it for. It just kind of like spices up your pre-existing wardrobe. So you guys can use the code RTRBROOK for $100 off your first 60-day trial of Run the Runway. 
I love it. Um, I was using it before I was working with them. I know my mom uses it for work. It's great if you, it's great for everybody for different uses, of course. I like it because I'm always taking pictures and, you know, I don't want to repeat my outfits in every picture. I think that's pretty normal. My mom is on TV for work and she loves it because she's always refreshing her wardrobe. But honestly, even when I was just working my eight to five job, I loved it because I didn't want to be wearing the same clothes all the time. And this just let me kind of funk up my wardrobe a little bit, you know, throw in some new pieces here and there. If you guys have any questions, about Rent the Runway, leave them in the comments below because I know that um, there were some comments on previous videos and stuff and I just want to make sure there's no confusion because it literally is the simplest thing ever. It arrives basically to your house in this bag and then you, um, you know, unbox it, do your thing and then you wear the clothes, you send them back dirty. You basically flip around the card. I'm not going to show you because it has my address on it, but the packing slip, you just flip it around and drop it off at a UPS or I think you could even just leave it out for UPS. Um, but I just drop it off at the UPS store and then they send it off and then you pick your new picks and it's just a cycle. So these are coming with me. I'm actually gonna clean my room a little bit now. Just, hi, that's me. Just cause it's a little bit messy as we can tell and just kind of get organized. Also while I do this, I think I showed you guys this morning, but I've been listening to this podcast. It's Lauren Elizabeth and Claudia Saluski. It's really good. And I'm gonna play this on the speaker in my bedroom that I got for free from Spotify. If you guys didn't know, I don't know if they're doing it anymore, but Spotify was giving out free Google Home mini speakers like a few weeks ago. Someone posted in the Gals in the Go Facebook group. I was like shook. So I'm gonna listen to this. my room for like 0.2 seconds but because then I decided that I wanted to start packing my toiletries so I don't forget them so I'm only bringing a carry-on because I just don't feel like checking my luggage and doing that whole thing hi this lot a latte is like basically ice now but it's fine I have these two makeup bags that I always travel with they're from drunk elephant I don't know if they're available for purchase but I just love big makeup bags like this that I don't even know what's in here a nice little receipt and my Ollie sleep gummies. So those are coming with me. I don't know what I'm gonna bring for um, like my actual like carry on like purse style bag yet. I think I might bring my tote bag because I wanna bring like my laptop and stuff just so I can still do work because I can't slash I don't even want to like sign off for like the whole weekend. So like I always travel with my laptop and stuff. Anyways, so this is a bag that I have of, I just keep it in my closet up there at the front. This is my gal on the go bag. So this is like travel size of a lot of different products. We have skincare, we have hair, like shampoo, mouthwash, basically anything travel size, I stick it in here just so that when I'm packing for a trip, it's really easy for me. So this is a good hack if you guys travel a lot. Keep all of your minis together. And I know it sounds like obvious, but you know. So I can't bring anything over, what is that, like three ounces or whatever, which is honestly harder than you'd think. I also think I'm gonna put, I have these Glossier bags too, they're great for travel. If you buy anything from Glossier, you get these free bags, which is cool. So I think I'm gonna bring, you know, some minis, just like a Dove little shampoo guy. Um, oh, this is a chapstick with SPF, which is good for, you know, I'll be laying outside in the sun. Um, even though I do have a spray tan and honestly, Every time I have a spray tan and I tan, I know that the UV rays still like go underneath so it still affects your skin. I still wear sunscreen, but I do notice that I don't really get any color because the spray tan is kind of like a boundary for your skin, but it doesn't actually protect your skin. It's just like, it gives the illusion that it is. Does that even make sense? Anyways, um, shampoo. I like to bring shampoo just in case. I know I'm staying at like a nice hotel and there is gonna be like shampoo and stuff, but just in case I'm gonna bring um, Tresemme shampoo. I got like all these from like CVS or Target or somewhere. Um, I just like to have, like I said, these type of travel products on hand. This way I don't have to run out before every single trip and like go and buy stuff. Um, this is like a little dry shampoo. I don't even know. Ue. I'm not really too particular on my brands, especially when I travel because it's like, I just take what I can get. <laughs> what else is in here? Oh, this is Living Proof Dry Shampoo. Actually, that's what we're gonna bring instead because I love Living Proof. I think that that's really it for like that sort of thing. Um, because then I, I'm gonna bring my regular size toothpaste and stuff like that. I might bring this, I love the scent of this. It's just like a body mist. That's good for a little Miami action. I also really like these bags because they're, they lay flat too. So they're great like to throw on top of your suitcase or whatever. And then in these big ones, 
I do makeup usually. So I guess I can start to pack my makeup and just like work out of a makeup bag and stuff later. So now um, makeup, full coverage foundation. I use the Fenty one. I'll try to link below everything that I can if I remember, but these are late, like I, this is my favorite foundation of all time. When I do like a heavy foundation and then when I do something lighter, I use the It Cosmetic CC Cream, which I'll probably bring that too, just so that I have options for like the daytime. This one I'm almost out of, so I'm gonna bring my matte one. And then my beauty blender to blend everything in. Uh, concealers, I use the Tarte concealer and the Fenty concealer, which I'm running low on both. I need to reorder. Makeup brushes, I just have like this makeup brush set that I bring everything because you never wanna be without a makeup brush. I just dump them all in there. I recently cleaned them, so that's good for me, I guess. Uh, this Hourglass palette is really good. It's just like a highlighting palette really pretty um Too Faced bronzer nars blush um eyelash curler this is my everyday brow product the glossier boy brow mascara this is the one i've been using recently Too Faced better than sex waterproof this is my everyday eyeshadow sin just like a sin single shadow from urban decay but i think i am gonna bring a palette too i really want to bring my conspiracy palette except that it's v dense but these colors these colors would be so fun for Miami. Should I bring it? I guess it depends how much room I have in my suitcase. Cause this is like a big boy, you know what I mean? It's like thick and stuff. We'll bring my eye cream um, in there. Oh, I love these. These are Lumify eye drops. My mom got me hooked on them. They just make your eyes look really pretty. Um, I'm a big fan of a good eye drop. I used to use Visine, which are great too, but these are, these are good too. They just keep the eyes nice and white and bright. What else? I will bring my tweezer just in case I have any stray anything. Oh, this is really good. This is Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder. It's good over foundation. So I'll like put my foundation on and then just like kind of set my face just so that, cause I do get oily throughout the night, especially if I'm sweating and drinking. So, and then a big brush to blend it all in. Yeah. And then I have to pack my like Summer Fridays. That will go in there. It's good, I guess, that I've been more simplistic on my skincare these days. That's been a key. And then I am gonna bring a straightener and a curler so that I can style my hair, especially if I'm like going in the pool and stuff, um, which I probably will, because our hotel's a really nice pool, so. It's 11.25 and I'm making my second latte of the day. I just did two espresso shots. I'm gonna pour it over some ice. I only have these big cups right now, so it's gonna be weird. And then I cold frothed more almond, um, not almond milk, oat milk. Yum. I thought it would be really good iced actually and I could just kind of like sip on it throughout the day. Wow, that looks so good. You guys, look at me making coffee at home. I was like, I could go to Starbucks today or I could drink the coffee I have in my house. Let's try. I was just doing stuff on my computer so I have my blue light glass on. Fantastic. I love it. All right, so I curled my hair, just a little update, just cause I'm going out tonight and then I figured tomorrow we'll have a nice wave to it. So that will be kind of cool. I'm gonna leave these on cause I just don't like the way I look right now. Um, yeah, curled my hair, I figured it will fall too. And then I have a call actually in like 15 minutes. I do these sometimes with companies that I work with. They just do like a briefing call and they kind of go over like goals for whatever the campaign is and stuff. So um, it is a Friday, so there still is like people working and I'm still working. Uh, I just replied to some comments and did emails, signed some contracts, fun stuff. This is still the packing situation. I realized that this bag is a lot smaller than I thought it was, and then I narrowed it down. I'm actually not gonna bring the jeans because I don't think I'm gonna pack jeans for this trip, or if anything, I have one pair in there, redone jeans, but everything else I'm gonna bring. I love the fit of literally everything, but I'm just trying to condense my load a little bit. So I'm gonna pack these items, and then in terms of bathing suits and stuff, I love to do jean shorts as a cover-up for bathing suits. These are my Rolas. And then for bathing suits themselves, I have, two, I think we're doing one pieces because it's just, it's that time of the month, honestly. And I just, I can't be bothered. So this is one, this is from Monday Swimwear. I absolutely love it. It's like this pretty green color. And then this is the other one that for some reason still has the tags on it, even though it's a really, really cute one. And it's from Princess Polly. And this is a one piece, but it has like a cutout in the center. So it doesn't feel like a one piece. And yeah. And then I have Spanx here for <laughs> underneath dresses or whatever, just to feel a little more secure. 
I've just been trying to do more of the like, you know, here's my outfit for daytime, here's my outfit for nighttime. So we basically have two days and two nights. Actually, I think it's a little bit more than that because we get there Saturday night. So then we have Saturday night, Sunday night, and then Monday night technically. But we probably won't go out, out Monday night if I had to assume. Maybe we will. It's hard to tell. Huh. I don't really know. But anyways, these are the um, fits. Trying to get things just a little orderly because I just realized that I'm staying another night. I thought I was only staying two nights for some reason in my brain, but we're doing three. Um, so these are the two bathing suits. But we only have two bathing suit days though, so I will say. Maybe I'll throw in a third just to be safe, but I still have the two bathing suits. I'm throwing in this dress. It's a long maxi dress from Princess Polly. Just thought it could be fun like as a cover up to like when we head down to the pool or whatever. Otherwise, I'm bringing my shorts. So these are like pool fits. This scarf, I'm still playing around with the idea of how I'm gonna use this, but I do wanna bring that. Um, I kind of planned everything. This is gonna sound bizarre to some people, but around my purse, because I only wanna bring one purse and I don't want it to be my black purse, <laughs> as strange as that sounds. So I want, I just wanted to bring my tan purse and have it go with everything. So that's why a lot of my outfits, I mean, some of them, ugh, this is really annoying. Cause some of them, like I do, I feel like a black purse would go better, but with majority of these, a tan purse will suffice. Like this dress and so then here we just have some tops to, that could potentially go with jeans. I have like this one from Just Fab that I really like. And then I am gonna bring, I think a pair of black jeans, but, uh, but then it's like what purse? That goes against my packing policy, you guys. I don't like to do that. I'm not sure. And then I have some sunglasses here. I do still have some more that I have to throw in. And these would be my nighttime outfits. This is from Urban. It's like this satiny dress. It's cute. The sequiny guy, like I said, Rent the Runway. And then Princess Polly is that two-piece set. But I probably will likely be wearing like this one the first night because I'm obsessed. And then who knows? I could also do like one for dinner if we don't end up because we probably won't go out all three nights. That's a lot. <laughs> And then here, I like, I'm gonna reorganize everything, but it, then in here I did bring one of my sets from Outdoor Voices and I'm gonna bring the tote bag. Just in case I do go to Soul Cycle. I'm not sure, but the Soul Cycle isn't far from our hotel, so I was like, ooh, that could be kind of fun. Who knows? Maybe. And then um, I just have pants and stuff if we wanna like go get coffee in the morning. I figured like pants are probably the best option, and then some shoes and uh, bras and whatnot. I'm bringing these clear heels from Just Fab. Hopefully they're comfy, but I thought these were really cute for all of my clubbing fits. And if they're uncomfortable, then the sandals are fine, but I don't want to bring too many shoes because that like weighs it down too. All right, I put makeup on. I'm eating tortellini from my HelloFresh, but I didn't make the whole meal because I'm feeling really that lazy, truly. And I'm wearing a sweatshirt because I'm cold in my freaking apartment, but I used the conspiracy palette on my eyes. I'm a little dry still underneath this eye, but I think it looks good. Dark circles, who is she? Yeah. And after I eat all this, I think I'm gonna pregame with like a drink or something, and then we are going to go to the event with Stella, which I'm really excited about. I'll show you guys my final fit before we go. And then I'm gonna continue this vlog into tomorrow because I didn't fully pack up everything, so I wanna continue it to tomorrow, but I really like my makeup. Who is this girl? Good morning, you guys. It is the next day, and we are getting things moving. Okay. Well, I'll show you what I'm wearing for now, but I'm gonna slip into Air Force Ones, but I am gonna wear this. I've been wearing this a lot recently. It's just this sweatshirt. I got it in two sizes because I wasn't sure what size I was gonna be. Um, so I got the medium and the large, and this is the large. I do like the medium one too, but I feel like for like a big, like oversized fit, this is it. So this is just a little um, pullover from American Eagle, and then I'm wearing my Wonder Unders, and then I'm just wearing Uggs right now, but like I said, I'll slip into the Air Force Ones. So this is my carry-on bag. I'm not gonna bring this notebook because I'm gonna keep it very minimal, but this is my Louis Vuitton Never Full Tote. I absolutely love it. I've had it since I graduated high school and it is probably the designer item that I use the most. Like I just absolutely adore it because it fits so much. Uh, you guys always ask me which one I have. And I think it's like the medium size one. I got a red interior and I got my monogram on it on the other side. <laughs> Big preppy girl. Okay, so then on the inside, I am bringing headphones. These are my Bose 700. They're linked on my Amazon shop. I absolutely love these, especially for travel. Huge, huge must have. Uh, this is my Pro Case roll up with all of my tech stuff in it um, just chargers, wires, SD cards, stuff like that. I'm only going to bring one book just because I simply don't have enough room on this trip. Uh, but I don't even know how much downtime I'll really have. I kind of cracked into this, but I really want to finish it. This is the Untethered Soul. 
And then what else do we have in here? Keys, a computer charger that didn't fit in the pro case, my new blue light glasses, which I love, a um, bunch of gum. This is uh, hand sanitizer, yeah, a another phone charger, a lot of lip products. I'm bringing one uh, RX bar just in case I get like starving, so I have something to eat. Then here we have my card holder, which is just like my new wallet. I don't use a wallet, I only use my card holder. And then other things, Lola tampons, because um, I actually do have my period right now. And uh, a bunch of just other things like powder. Well, this is like a touch up powder. My AirPods whatever that's everything really and then I'll stick my laptop in yeah this bag is a really good size it does fit my laptop like it fits I would say um it definitely like I mean it fits comfortably in there it just like gets heavy on the shoulders but I am bringing my uh other bag is gonna be a carry-on so I'll like roll it with this on top the only thing I have left to do I think I'm gonna just put on like a little bit of concealer so I have to do that and then stick everything else in here but I think everything else is really packed um, I'm not the best <laughs> organizationally, but everything, this is like all my clothes and bathing suits and stuff like that. And then here, a uh, sticky bra from Amazon, some of those shower products that I showed you guys. And then on this side, it's more of like the loungewear slash just like big t-shirts to sleep in. I do have that one workout set because I did book a soul cycle class for Monday. Uh, cross our fingers that that still stays true because I really want to make it. But if I go out and stay out late, that's going to be hard. Heels, I'm praying that those are comfy because if they're not, I'm kind of screwed. And then I don't even know what's in here. What did I put in here? Uh, my purse. Cool because I'm not checking my bag. I would normally like bring my purse in my ca in my carry-on bag, but this is still a carry-on. I'm not checking a bag, saves money, and I'm flying American, which I normally don't fly. I have the Delta credit card, and the Delta credit card gets you free one free check bag every time, so that's nice, and I've yet, knock on wood, I've yet to have a problem with Delta checking my bags, um, but I don't really fly with American that much, so I'm just gonna bring that as a carry-on and it saves some money too. Just gonna finish up with the makeup and stuff like that and then I think I'm ready to go I mean it's such a quick trip that like there's really not much to forget like as long as you have the essentials I feel like you're fine anything else you really could get there maybe I'll do some shopping when I'm there like I don't really know this is actually a big essential that I almost forgot this is my portable phone charger it's linked on my Amazon shop as well big essential I have to take out the trash uh, but this is big because it's great for long travel days and stuff like that. I'll just stick that in there and organize it later. All right, I'm about to shut my computer and uh, close up. I'm wearing the sweatshirt, but I did put a, just a t-shirt on underneath just in case it's for some, oh, actually when we land, it's probably gonna be pretty warm. I don't even know what my hair is doing. I'll probably end up throwing it up. Uh, it's pretty greasy, but I think I'm gonna shower and do all that when we get there to like the nice hotel. So very excited. Also, I didn't mention we're staying at the Fountain Blue. I'm so excited. I've never stayed there, but we went to the club inside and like, I actually left my credit card and my ID so I had to go back and like I spent like a little bit of a day there and I actually love it. I'm so excited. So yeah, follow me on Instagram if you haven't to see all the adventures. I don't think I'm going to vlog just because I don't really want to be like tied to vlogging, but maybe a few, a few things here and there. And I love you guys so much. Hope you uh, enjoyed. Talk to you soon. Bye.